You know, it's fine. I've been rewatching a bunch of the James Bond movies recently. Yeah. I forgot how much of a mess Spectre was. <laughs> Spectre is kind of a mess. <laughs> the plot to that thing. Oh my god. It's still better put together than No Time to Die. I'm actually I was actually rewatching No Time to Die before we Oh uh, yeah. I got a uh... About an hour of it left to rewatch. I haven't seen it since the theater, since yeah. some theaters, because the ending just <laughs> uh, really traumatized me. I'm gonna be <laughs> I've never seen James Bond die before, and I it was completely out of the blue too. Like I hadn't heard about it or anything. Yeah, like, I was surprised nobody had spoiled it. Like, because that's kind of a huge thing. Yeah. And that really just made me reassess the whole Daniel Craig era, too, because I was like, oh, my God, like, just <laughs> so that's what it was leading up to was, oh, we're just going <laughs> to we're going to kill off Felix Slider, Spectre. And I James forgot they Bond, killed off Felix. All in the same movie. It's oh my God. It was also weird rewatching Dr. No again. Yeah. Because that one feels so weird compared to the rest of the series. It, it feels more like just a detective movie. It does, yeah. It really does. Like, Because a lot of the beginning of that is him investigating. It was also a lower budget movie. Yeah. Than the other ones. But, I mean, I still like it, though. I mean, it's, it's a Sean Connery Bond movie. I mean, <laughs> come on. Yeah. I love Sean Connery. Um, but yeah, I'm like... It's just weird adjusting to the fact that Daniel Craig isn't Bond anymore. Yeah, I'm interested to see who they get to do it next. Because I'm like, because I'm not, I'm like trying to figure out like where I would put him in terms of the James Bond actors, you know? Yeah. Now that he's done all five of them. Yeah, jeez. I gotta say, uh, Skyfall, when you rewatch that one, the plot makes less and less sense each time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Like, if you actually think about, like, some of the plot, there are so many holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a good movie, but oh my god. Like, yeah. Just... <laughs> yeah, no, my favorite is still Casino Royale of the Craig films. That's, yes, that's Craig's best, um. Definitely. Easily. It is the best storyline, if you ask yeah. me. The other ones are kind of a mess. <laughs> when you really look at like, Quantum of Solace is a huge mess. In terms yeah, of that one's just more boring overall for me. I have a bit more of an appreciation for it now, but it's so sloppy. Um... And then uh, Skyfall I liked, but again, there were some parts of the plot that yeah. kind of didn't make sense. I also get, one thing that kind of annoys me about the Craig era is they make MI6 look like idiots. <laughs> yeah, because the whole time they're trying to basically kill off the double O program or whatever. And every time it's Bond who proves that it needs to stay. And also just their need to, like, try... Oh, we gotta have, like, every movie be connected to the other movies. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. Because, I, mean, I mean, the older ones, yeah, they have, like, references here and there to previous movies, but it's not quite like this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, okay. Um, oh, my gosh. Uh, we should probably get to talking about the actual fucking movie, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and start the intro. Then again, there's really only one good Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. I mean, yeah, yeah, it was the first one. Yeah, the original, the Toby Hooper classic. I love the original. Um, the one of Dennis Hopper is kind of <laughs> it has entertaining parts just because of how weird it is. Yeah, 
And I, I watched that movie when I had COVID, so I was just completely out of my mind watching it. It was fantastic. I That must have been an experience right there. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they uh, mentioned the Rambo 3 soundtrack, even <laughs> though that movie hadn't come out yet. Yeah. I wish I could name one off the top of my head, but I can't remember the name of it. It was like... There was some old, like, horror movie where, like, the tagline was something like, uh, the only people who won't be pulverized with fear uh, in the audience are those among you that are already dead or something. And I was like, <laughs> what? I wish I could remember the name of the movie and the tagline. I just... Oh, my God. I'll have to look it up. I'm so, uh, later. I'll look it up later. We have to get okay. Back, but <laughs> maybe I'll go back to that. <laughs> kind of like uh, didn't drag me to hell. Do something similar. Oh gosh, I'm trying to remember. Damn it. Uh all I can remember it, that movie right now is the fucking ending. <laughs> where she's just dragged down through the train tracks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that movie was insane. Wasn't there like a goat thing in that movie? Or am I thinking of something else? I don't know. Yeah, the, yeah there's a goat. That's right, yeah, this, like, talking goat thing, and there's the old <laughs> woman that, like, bites her and shit. Okay, I, I'm starting to remember some other stuff. I remember the old woman. <laughs> that was a fucking insane movie. I mean, <laughs> it totally felt like a Sam Raimi movie, though, so, I mean. <laughs> I mean um, sorry, what were you asking again? I don't remember now. What it was the perfect? Uh, oh, I was just kind of like comparing it because I know that there is a. Uh... Oh my god! <sighs> what was it? Because th there's like a this theory where uh, like the lead in Drag Me to Hell, she's suffering with some sort of addiction. I think it's like a food, like an eating disorder thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and people are like you can either interpret it as there's literal demons chasing her, or it's like in her mind because she's suffering with. You know, these issues. And some people have said the same about, like, The Shining. How he's, like, maybe he's just so drunk that he's, like, seeing these ghosts and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Um. But anyway, um, moving on. <laughs> and she even looks like what the... They looked what uh, Reagan looked like in The Exorcist. Yeah. And you so know, after she funny tries... about um, this is getting off topic, but Exorcist three barely has anything to do with the first two Exorcist movies. I don't know if you knew that, but yeah, I, I've heard about that. Yeah. The only real connection it has is that it's like this that one of the supporting characters is technically a different actor, though, but. And then the studio recut the ending so that they would force an exorcism into the plot, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um... Okay, getting back to the fucking... Um... Oh, I'm, I'm looking up how to pronounce it. That, it all that makes me think of... Of, is the, the scene from the thing where they try to use one of those and the guy gets his arms bit off. <laughs> God. That scene was in the new Halloween movie. Holy shit, really? Yeah. Wow. Michael the Myers bit the a thing. dude's arms off? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm seriously wondering, though, like, how the fuck, like, because they've killed off Michael Myers so many damn times, but, like, you're thinking, like, oh, th is this seriously going to be the last one? No, probably not. They'll probably just make another one. It's probably going to be another reboot in another timeline in, like, two years. 
It'll be uh, the third Rob Zombie Halloween movie. <laughs> It'll just be Rob Zombie remaking the first one again. Again? <laughs> Good lord. He'll probably make it more like House of a Thousand Corpses then or something. I don't know. <laughs> I actually ended up watching Friday the 13th, 7, 8, and Jason X a couple days ago. Oh. 7, 8, and... That's most of the ones of Kane Hodder. Yeah. Yeah. I actually really like uh, 7, believe it or not. I Okay, honestly, on this re... The first time I watched 7, I hated it. It was, like, my third least favorite. It's actually my favorite Friday the Thirteenth movie, believe it or not. At least really? when I rewatched them, yeah. So yeah, I I I enjoyed it more the set the second time I watched it, but my favorite still has to be six. I think six would probably be my second favorite. Um, but seven I liked to be well partly because of Kane Hodder as yeah. Jason. I think he was a really good Jason and. I don't know. I just I kind I I liked that it was a little bit different. I liked the weird psychic stuff. You know, it was kind of like Carrie fighting <laughs> Jason. You know, it was very interesting. Um, because at that point in the series, you needed to change things up a little bit. You know, you can't just have him kill people at a camp and just not change anything. So. It at least changed things up in a good way, unlike part five, um, or uh, Jason Goes to Hell, so. Yeah, no, Jason Goes to Hell is by far the worst. That's the worst one, yeah, that's definitely the worst one. Um, at least Jason X has some fun moments. <laughs> yeah. And Jason Takes Manhattan, it's it's a letdown, <laughs> but at least it has a few fun moments. <laughs> That one really should have been called Jason Spends Five Minutes in Manhattan. Basically, yeah. When he does get to Manhattan, though, it is kind of fun, I'll admit. Oh, yeah. Although, technically, most of it's not even shot in New York. Most no, of isn't it shot, shot in, in Toronto? I think oh, Vancouver, Vancouver or something. Yeah, somewhere in Canada. And most of it, he's on a boat. <laughs> I'm like, come on, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, part three I really liked. I really liked part three just because, I don't know, that one's kind of just the funny bad category yeah. for me with like all the weird 3D effects and like stuff. I like how Jason, it's implied that Jason lives in a barn in that one. <laughs> he just lives in a barn and then when people break into it, he kills them. Yeah. God, those movies. Uh, they're more fun than this movie. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I just... Halloween, I just... I thought about rewatching the Halloween movies just because it's that time of year, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. And if I do, I'll probably just stop at like four or five. <laughs> Yeah, I, I honestly, I'd recommend seeing the new one. It, it hits this strange level of insanity. I did think, what was the one before that? Was that with Halloween Kills? Yep. I thought that one was okay. Uh, that's one of the four that I haven't seen. Of the ones you haven't seen? What are the ones you haven't seen? So I haven't seen Halloween Kills. I never watched Resurrection. And I haven't watched either of the two Rob Zombie ones. It's easily the best of the ones you haven't seen, then, in that case. Okay. <laughs> like, not even close. <laughs> it's not even close. Like, just... Because I, I don't know how much I've ranted about this, but I can't stand the Rob Zombie ones. <laughs> and I can't stand Resurrection, either. Like, I mean... Halloween 6 sucked, but there were at least a few parts <laughs> that were kind of funny bad. Yeah. And Donald Pleasance was at least in it. Yeah. But yeah, that one was just, oh my god. And you stopped at what, like Halloween H2O? 
Yeah, that that was the last one I would watch it, for a while. H twenty. Wait a minute. H two O. H twenty. I don't. It's stupid either way. <laughs> <laughs> that one I just thought was mediocre. I didn't really just like. Oh, they got Jamie Lee Curtis back. Okay, that's kind of novel. But aside from that, eh. I don't know. Maybe we should have done the Halloween movies for the podcast. Like, <laughs> like not like a. It wouldn't be like our typical episodes though. It would just be us, like just talking about the series, just in general, just like going yeah. all over the place, probably. Because <laughs> I don't feel like rewatching anything past five. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I don't even know if I want to rewatch three. If I'm being honest, I don't really like that one. <laughs> I actually kind of like three. There's things I like about it, but the plot, I've just never been able to get past how dumb the plot to that one is. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like techno witches. It's it's interesting. It's so dumb. Uh, it's like, oh, every movie in the 80s has to, like, fit computer chips in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, imagine a crossover between Halloween 3 and A View to a Kill. That would be a crazy <laughs> movie. Oh my god. The soundtrack to that movie is pretty good. Uh, and the look of it. I like the look of it, like the camera work and stuff. Yeah. You know, it's a good looking movie, but I just, I don't like the plot. Or the characters. I don't like the characters either. Just like, oh, here's the guy from... uh lethal weapon and he's an asshole <laughs> <laughs> he works at like a hospital or something and then he's fucking a robot or something i don't know <laughs> just well he doesn't know she's a robot yet but he finds out later <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh it's such a dumb movie i'm sorry i don't like halloween <laughs> <laughs> i wish i liked it but it's just it's one of those movies that like I appreciate aspects of it, but it's just so bad in execution. I, <laughs> like, I, I just love how unique it is. It is, but, like, just not in a good way. Like, I would have been <laughs> fine with them doing the anthology stuff, but maybe they should have introduced that earlier. Like, Halloween mm. 2 should have been yeah. like that instead. <laughs> 